Hey guys, this is Leah, and in today's tip video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what is happening to your dot loop documents come September 15th, 2019. Uh, today's date is September 9th, so this is the most current uh, information on today, September 9th, 2019. Just a heads up on that. And so we've been getting a lot of questions about what is happening to your dot loop documents and if you are going to retain your data. And the answer is yes on that. So what you can expect come September 15th, that is the official rollout of DocuSign. I'm sure you've seen a bunch that you have minimal access to DocuSign. You can start connecting that to KW Command. Um, it is not fully ready for you to be using quite yet, as you've probably seen if you've played around with it, but come September 15th, there will be a full form integration, so you'll be able to full view all your documents from KW Command integrated with DocuSign. You'll be able to do compliance, and you'll utilize DocuSign for forms and e-signatures. Just a heads up, your loops in dot loop will still exist, so you'll still be able to log into dot loop come 9.15. Okay, you'll be able to log in, see all your loops, you just won't be able to create new loops. So all your loops will still stay there, all right? but again, you just won't be able to create new loops. And Keller Williams International is working on moving all historical data from dot loop to KW command and they have said that will be available come September 15th. Um, in today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know that and just take you on a brief overview on what is available in a command and what you need to be doing as of now to get DocuSign linked up. So first of all, coming into KW command at agent.kw.com, you can click on your name on the top right and select settings from that dropdown. All right, from here, you'll want to locate DocuSign. Okay, mine's already connected, so it's at the top of my list. All right, you might have to scroll down a little bit to find DocuSign. But once you connect that, all right, or once you find that, you'll want to go ahead and click the Connect button on the right-hand side. Okay, I already connected mine, so it says Disconnect. All right, but you'll want to go ahead and click Connect and follow the prompts. Um, now, I'll be hyperlinking the steps to connect your DocuSign account to uh, KW command in the notes of this YouTube video. So check that out if you have any trouble with that. All right, but that is the main thing that you need to be doing with your DocuSign account as of today, September 9th, is just make sure that is connected to KW command. Now I'll briefly show you how an overview of how it's connecting to KW command so that will integrate into the opportunity section. So if you go ahead and click on the icon that looks like a little handshake on the left hand side, that will take you to the opportunities. And you can click on any of your phases here to view any opportunities in that phase. Okay, so I have this opportunity here. And I can go ahead and click on that opportunity to view the details of it. All right, so that does take you into the details of the opportunity where you'll see some options at the top here, uh, focusing on the document section. Right, this is where your documents and checklists and compliance will be. And you can see right here, it says go to transaction and that will integrate with um, DocuSign. So if I go ahead and click on go to transaction, it will pull me into DocuSign. If I click add document, it will start pulling from DocuSign. You will be able to pull in a document from here that has not fully launched quite yet, but this is where you'll be able to do so. All right, so if I click on go to transaction, it does pull up DocuSign here. Again, this isn't really meant to be a full blown training on DocuSign. I'm just trying to overview this so you can get an idea of what is happening and what you can expect in the near future here. But you will be able to see your DocuSign account here. You'll see the details section of your uh, of the uh, property in DocuSign. You'll see any documents coming in. You'll see the people section. Envelopes is where you'll be sending for electronic signature, and you can see the history here as well. Okay. All right, guys, so that again was just a quick overview on what is to come within about a week now or about a week out from the integration once DocuSign will be fully available and usable for you on September 15th. If you have any questions on this, feel free to email us at support at scottlauriemarketing.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.